Warriors who go to battle have a K in their name. They carry the K vibration. Example of not a warrior, Gavin Newsom. He keeps the peace of San Francisco. His name goes up, five, six. He carries the vibration of representative of Earth and um, the Ohlone, the wizard. So he would be Wizard of Oz. It's Wizard of Venus. Venus de Milo goes in that vibration. But in Latin, you read things backwards. So, and the de, <laughs> Venus de Milo, it's like deja vu. It's of, days of. So it'd be Venus of Wizard. But if you put it in Latin way, it would be Wizard of Venus. Do you see? They were backwards. So they were being told the story, but the story is told to you backwards. And to unlock the backwards, to see the alternate dimension story of the energy that's feeding you, which is actually you, and it was you then. And it's how you connect to the line, the dimension. You have to learn to read the numbers. Make three connections. And that unlocks the story. And everything has been telling the same story of Venus. Everything has always been about the Earth talking to the viewer. Even in Twilight. Bella is five, Edward is six. Five, six. I think Stephanie Meyer is um, nine, five. She's a religion girl. So message of Earth, backwards, messenger. She got it. She got a story but since she has the religion hat on, it was turned into a misguided story. I mean, it's still a story that tells the story that I can unlock and everybody can unlock every story that's ever told. So her first job here is messenger. That's fine. I loved it. I saw that movie seven times in the theaters the first time. I took all my kids, I went by myself, and I took my friends, and that was our group. Then all of the, it was just, I was obsessed with that movie, so it, it vibrated to me the whole line of the story from Stephanie Meyer, and we connect through the five. Meyer is five, I don't know what her original name is, and I should probably look, but, um, but five, I, she's still, it's still a nickname, it's a vibration. It's a nickname vibration. It's not your exact one, but okay. So I'm five and she's five at the, we connect there. So that's, I will like her stuff. You see it, her stuff has messages for me. David Bowie, five, five has messages for me. Under world messages, underground, five, six, I'm five, six, underground attracts me. You see, the numbers attract you. So you'll have vibrations that are being attracted to you. You have to see the coincidences, their gifts, present, 
it's just everything has its own running code. Everything is vibrating as a code. You can go outside and see a yellow car, a yellow Mustang, and you will just know that that yellow Mustang has a vibration of six, and anything that's yellow has a vibration of six. You see, it's a family, it's a share. A Mustang, seven. Yeah. So six, seven. Anything with seven is gonna share that, even if it's not a car, a gambler, seven and seven. So it's still a fortune vibration. <laughs> so everything is connected in numbers. You'll see, you can enter a door. When you get lost in a thought, it's not lost in a thought. It's the doorway trying to open. And when you just stare off into blankness, no, that's not happening either. It's a doorway. You need to be able to clean, clear it, clean it out, organize it, and figure out how it works. Know that it's not a mushy brain. That's not your mushy brain. It has nothing to do with that. You have nothing to do with that. This is a little silly box and you have nothing to do with it. When I look at myself in the mirror, I look like a woman and I talk like a woman, but something's fishy about it because when I walk away from the mirror, I forget that I am that woman and I think like a man. So that tells you everything's not what it seems and a vibration is not just one thing. Everybody has their own vibration. In numbers, you have to break them down. Everything is a code. Everything's vibrating at a code. You, you can't see it vibrating, but all you have to do if you want to get the code is look at what it is and describe it. Then the vibrations of however many letters are in the words, that's the vibration of it. And that dimension actually exists. So if you take that away, if you take something away that's sitting there, it's still going to have been there. Because imagine somebody can unhook this and show you your whole life and make you do it all over again. What if you are doing it all over again? You don't know and it's up to you to figure out how to get into the doorway just by understanding you're not a brain and you're not a body. You're operating through the body from the electricity and the planet. That's you. You are the planet because you're attached to it. It feeds you. You put your feet on it, it makes you move. If you wake up in the morning, that's not you waking up. That's you're coming from Venus still. And things will happen to you until they stop happening to you. And that's your job here. It's a game. If you can realize the number code, the matrix that's around us, that's it. Deja vu. Vision. And the code is, uh, it's in, when you line up those two words, deja vu was first created and it's a representative of the earth. Two, two, two. If you break it down. Of, ja, ra, because Ra will come first. It's the vibration. This is the vibration planet. And then deja vu, vu, vibration, you. We go from here into the dirt. It's a you. Here, into the dirt. To tell a story, to find the story again. Right here, and you'll come back out here. It just keeps, but we just think we stay here. 
when you go here, it's an eraser. Because you thought you were going to die. Charles Manson thought he was going to die. Or Geraldo Rivera thought he was going to die. Charles Manson, I saw the interview. 7-6. And um, you could tell he had already been... He met God. Met God. You meet him in jail. You can meet him in jail because of what the jail is. It's um, attached to the dirt. It's attached to the dirt. That's where you find God. When you're attached to it, it'll find you and it'll turn you into what it is. Charles Manson was a genius. He knew he couldn't die because he was already in his own world. He understood the numbers. He was a representative of um, the vibration of Earth, and that's obvious. He would have stopped. He would have not have done that. The vibration of the Earth would have taken over him and did what it needed to do. And that story has nothing to do with you or anybody physical to you. It was a story. You weren't here. You weren't there has nothing to do with your story. And it might be a totally different vibration, but it might have something to do with you. So you can always look up the numbers and connect. That's how you do it. It's a phone line. He was just, I don't know exactly the story, the whole story, but he was acting as a cleaner. The vibration takes away cleans up it's not population control it knows what it's doing and the numbers in the scenarios that will be your message you just study the numbers of the names and how many people perished or what they signed up for to come here. Who were they representing? What was their first name? A lot of them are fives because they would die for their this place. Their death is their, mm -mm, it's not a death. That's not where they were. That it's a message for the viewer. Their planet is not happy. Venus is a vibration planet. Fives are on it. Venus. Fives. Little fives. Walking around. Little Venuses. If that can't be understood by anybody that's walking around on the planet then what the hell is school if it can't ascend people beyond the box and they can't they can't see it why can't they see it because they don't have time because they're out busy making money stressing out killing themselves uh, for money to take care of their family because they can't get out of a mindset other than money and we already know that money kills everybody because look at the great depression how everybody died and people just die 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 and everything is about money Venezuela is about money. You see? Venus? She talks. You can enter her. She's very enterable. If geniuses died, they would have figured out a way to feed us instructions to start movies. How do you think Disney was started? Mickey Mouse. Somebody killed a mouse. Yeah, that's how it happens. It's energy transfer. Then they fed us the phones. They fed us cell phones. 
speak and spell, the movies, we just have been reading them one way. They're starting to learn that they have to tell it the other way and it's getting better. Now it's getting better after the year that just passed. I think that was the whole upheaval. The 11th dimension was opened. And now we can, now it's going to happen. Now we're descending. Now we're going to understand how to read backwards, read the messages, make connections, look to the pyramids, spreading the words about the pyramids. That's the biggest, the biggest message. It's a big giant game console. Aaliyah said it before she died. She had seven letters too. Rock the boat and then she died in the Bahamas. She will be born in the nearest vicinity, but she never died. You see? Mm -mm. But if she, she will have a vibration that's born there and it will have to acknowledge who it is. So one day we're going to have a little Aaliyah um, mirror person over there by the Bahamas. And that's a great place to have agreed to exit the simulation, you see? And she's here now. She had a message too. Look what she was born into. She was born into telling us a message. Maybe she's the vampire, because seven and seven. Maybe she's the vampire eating him alive. Didn't, wasn't her last movie about a vampire? <laughs> mm, well, that's how that works.